Welcome to the Fail Forward podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to change the negative stigma around failure into a positive. Failure is only a negative if we do not learn from it and we give up. Welcome back to the Fail Forward podcast. So I'm pleased to say that we're now six months in to recording the Fail Forward podcast. And today I'm back in the studio. So I actually batch record. So when you see these episodes come out, I would have already recorded them. I usually record nine to 12 episodes at one time. It's just the way I manage to save time. And I basically leverage time by recording in one day. And then the wonderful team at Pulsate Media then edit it all and put it out for me. Coming up in the next kind of nine to 12 episodes, I'm going to be talking a lot more about um, tree surgery stuff. I'm going to still be talking about the different mindset and having different episodes. We're still going to be interviewing people as normal, but I'm also, you know, I went to the APF show last weekend uh, and I know from that a lot more people, a lot more tree surgeons are now listening to my podcast. So I want to give you guys some relevant um information and, and and episodes but also a lot of it will cross over so if there's any listeners who are listening and thinking I'm not a tree surgeon there will still be some good content for you guys so now what I wanted to talk about is my self-development story and I know you guys have probably heard about a bit about this in some other episodes but I really wanted to get people to understand the um the, the journey that I went on with self-development because I've got an ep- episode um, which is self-development versus winging it which I think is episode four or five so go back and have a listen to that one because that's a good good episode but what I wanted to talk about is that I haven't always done self-development and I only found self-development a few years ago and actually now looking back I wish I'd found it a lot earlier because Warren Buffett says the more you learn the more you earn he also says you can't make a better investment than in yourself. You know, when when my business went under, the self-development I've been doing for a year before that, they couldn't take that away. Yes, they could take my house. Yes, they could, you know, take my money and they could, I could end up with, I ended up with nothing. But they could not take what I'd learned in my brain. The things that I'd learned, the investment I'd made in the courses and the coaches and the mentors and the masterminds I'm part of, they can't take that away because that's the things I've learned. And that's part of you. And if you can develop yourself and learn, then whatever happens in your life, you'll be able to make some money somewhere. You'll be able to go and get a job. You'll be able to go and start a business. But I want to take you right back because when I was at school, my parents um, ran um, a restaurant, but also my dad um, bought and sold houses uh, and he did them up in his spare time um, working ridiculous hours but that meant a a very different childhood for me because we moved a lot we moved every couple of years we were moving to a different house um, sometimes a different area a different school and me being not very academic that led me down the perfect path of me being Uh, quite a naughty school child getting suspended and not really engaging at school so I uh, as a 16 year old boy at Applemore College in Hythe um, failed all my GCSEs and I remember going to the um, careers advisor and saying she said to me what what do you enjoy and I said well I love going out and socializing and I love water sports and she tapped away in the computer yep you should be a customer service representative. Like that makes any sense. Like who, where did this stuff come from? I guess that year they must have had a shortage in the country of customer service representatives because every answer of anyone that didn't do very well at school probably just got pushed into that into that funnel, right? So I filled all my GCSEs and my dad said to me, right, son, you need to be go out and work hard, be committed, don't give up, be determined and everything will be okay. So I did that. I went out and we went went out and got a job and I worked hard and and things were um, things were OK. But I kept thinking, oh, I need to earn more money. What the other thing he actually said to me is make sure you start your own business and do it young because I was in my 30s when I did it and you need to do it younger. So everyone knows the story. Or most of you do of the, my business that I grew at the, from the age of 24. But I did that all on hard work. I had a very fixed mindset 
I didn't do learning anymore. There was no learning involved. I, the learning had failed me. I didn't read books. I think the only book I'd read is Eric Cantona's autobiography because I am a great, massive Man United fan for my sins um, and Alex Ferguson autobiography. And they're probably the only two books I read from leaving school till about till my early 30s. I didn't do courses. I did my tree surgery courses I did a few courses when I worked at Barclays Bank when I was 18 but apart from that I didn't do learning because in my head school had failed me being academic had failed me and I didn't do that I'd failed my GCSEs and at school quite frankly they tell you if you fail your GCSEs you're literally going to be nothing um, which is I think is really shit and I'll rant on about the school system on a different day but what that led me to have is a very, very fixed mindset of, I just need to work hard. I just need to work hard. But then when we grew the business and we had 47 staff, working really hard and not actually developing myself as a human being didn't work out. As you guys know, it all went under. I lost it all and we had to sell our family home and we restarted with minus 350k. So learning and self not learning and not doing self-development really didn't work for me and I'm sure there's probably some people out there that might argue against it but I believe the I, Warren Buffett is bang on correct the more you learn the more you'll earn so invest in yourself take the time to read books you know I used to say I don't do reading I still hear people now say I don't do reading I was never a good reader as soon as I got given a book and I started learning about things I was passionate about which is business I loved reading and I'm like, wow, ideas coming out. And in the last episode, we talk, talked about mental health. I actually find that reading books helps my mental health. Like I, instead of looking at screens, if I'm reading a book, even if it takes me longer than the normal person to read a book, it really does help. So definitely start looking. If you're not already, start looking at learning, doing courses, audio books, podcasts, especially this one. Uh, but Stephen Bartlett's podcast is really good for self-development as well. When um, the business was failing, I had um, my neighbor said, go and find a coach. I found Jeff and Jeff's one of Jeff's first things said to me, and I know I've said this before, but I have to keep reiterating it to you guys is he said, Henry, read this book. And I said, no, 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 I don't do learning. And he said, no, no, you need to read this book. I said, no, Jeff, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't do reading. And I, I, quite frankly, I don't like being told to do things either because I was that rebellious child. But he said, look, Henry, your business is fucked, basically. It's a really bad place. You need me. You need my help and read this book. It will help you. And that kind of really pushed me. And I'll forever thank Jeff for doing that because that's my turning point. That's my turning point from fixed mindset to growth mindset. And I read this book. It was One Minute Ma One Minute Manager Meets the Monkey. And it's about how we manage people. And it was just this massive light bulb, epiphany moment of, shit, I am the guy that's just doing everything for all my staff. And that first book, I suddenly saw the power of learning because I completely changed how I managed my team. If I hadn't read that book and gone that self-development journey, I wouldn't have a tree surgery business now that employs 15 people that I do about two hours work in a week that I've got two managers managing it for me. I wouldn't be in the position where now I can do the school run with my children and I can run three other businesses and run this podcast and try and help and run webinars and try and help people because that's the change. You start learning more. And as business owners, and I talk about this all the time, our, our, um, our, we've always got challenges. We've always got challenges. We're always looking for solutions. And actually, we're just problem solvers as business owners. But you're, the challenges always get bigger. The more you grow, the bigger the business gets, the challenges get bigger. But the only way you're going to deal with them is this, if you grow yourself. So that's where the self-development comes in. So it's really, really important to be continuously trying to improve, like putting that phone down, looking at TV less and picking up a book and reading at, or or watching a course. YouTube has got a whole raft of information, being part of masterminds, joining webinars. I mean, there's a free webinar on everything these days. Actually talking about webinars, um, I run webinars for the Tree Surgery Mastermind. It's the four pillars of the tree surgery um, business. Um, and we talk about everything to do with that. I go into the sales and marketing, the numbers, the culture, the systems, why it's important, and also talk about the mastermind. So if anyone's listening to this and wants to get involved in one of those, if you go to my website, which is www.tsbauk.com, 
www.tsbauk.co.uk. That's www.tsbauk.co.uk. And just fill in your details on that um, website. I'll put the link also in this um, in the description for this video or for the podcast. And you can just click on that link and then I'll let you know when the next webinar is. So remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. Concentrate on self-development. Don't have a fixed mindset. Have a growth mindset because I believe with learning and self-development, you can do anything you want. And I actually wish that I'd failed faster because if I'd have failed faster, I would have gone on that self-development journey 10 years ago rather than a few years ago. And I might be further than, than where I am now. So thank you all for listening to this podcast and I'll catch you all next time.